YouTube, it's Bebop Theo7 here and welcome back to Nietzsche and the Tiger Tribe. Now in the last episode, we actually had quite a few um, sad things happen. First off, we lost Hyacinth. Hyacinth finally passed away and she passed away giving birth to this lovely little girl named Ravimi. And we decided to keep her name because it sounded like her older sister's name, uh, Ramona. So we kept Ravimi. And it turns out that her father actually passed away as well, and I don't know why. I didn't notice, but I didn't. And I was distracted, and apparently he froze to death, and I feel awful, and Nunu passed away, and I am so sorry. I didn't notice. I am, it, for all, for all those, uh, uh, for all those, oh gosh, those distractions. For all you who uh, were watching and were getting, just kind of like screaming at me to go save Nunu, I apologize. I just didn't notice, and I guess he like passed away the same day Hyacinth did, I think, which is, or the day after. But um, again, I'm sorry, I didn't notice, but uh, while I was, maybe this will make you guys forgive me, but uh, there's also a bunny we're going to have to get, but while I was uh, being distracted, I came back and I just, uh, but uh, while I was setting this episode up, I just kind of came over and I occasionally hit the sniff button, and look what I found! Look at that! My my, now isn't that interesting? There is a Nietzscheling back here, and I don't know if it's a boy? Um, no! No, I'm pretty sure this is a girl, and you guys have all been hoping, seriously hoping, that uh, we would find a lovely mate. A lovely adventurous mate for our very handsome, handsome junk rat here, considering he's very, you know, he's junk rat. But uh, before we do so, food is a desperate need, and we have to have enough food in order to even invite this little lady in. Oh my goodness, is she blind? I wonder if junk rat would find that even more beautiful, because, um, I mean, otherwise she is fairly healthy. And she does have nimble fingers. She also has F immunity though, so she actually can't breed with Junkrat. Ugh. But she has nimble fingers, so it might not be a bad idea to bring her in. But the thing is, I can also work nimble fingers in. But I don't think anybody here really has the heart to leave her, leave her, you know? And, I mean, we need, we need the food. And actually what we need to do is I think that, um, I think Ramona, and uh, her family, I think she's going to start scooting Cassian up this way. And she'll stay by her baby and she'll try to dig for now. Oh, wow. Oh, she came over to Junkrat, you guys. He's going to invite her. He's going to feel a surge of kindness and invite this little girl. I'm sorry. I know that's like risking the food and everything, but I just, I couldn't help it. First off, though, we're going to go ahead and we're going to sit Rarimi over here so that her older sis, Ramona, can protect her. And then we're going to, I think we should send Ink over here, gather up from this. Oh, that's so sad. And then we're actually going to send Cassian over here, and Ramona's probably going to call to check in on him and make sure, make sure that he's okay, because she would be pretty worried. And Junkrat's not exactly the best um, Nietzscheling, you know, not not one that you would want to trust. Oh my gosh, she only has one gem. <gasps> you guys, what if Junkrat doesn't, okay, what if Junkrat doesn't get a mate, but he does adopt a baby? What if, what if, oh my gosh, it'd be so cute. I think, I think she just won him over. She's, I think she has a bit of a flair about her. She, she's blind and stuff, but she's very sassy. She's good with her surroundings. She can connect, uh, collect acorns. And perhaps, let's see. Oh, oh, darn it. Darn it. Why do you have to have the H immunity? I was gonna, I was gonna, I was hoping you and Cassian could be together. But okay. Uh, let's see. Oh my goodness. There is a cat trying to climb on me. No taco. Ugh. Ugh. These cats. Um, luckily though, it was Taco, not Cammy, because Cammy will step all over your keyboard, and Taco usually tries to have a bit of grace and finesse, and she doesn't torture you quite as much. But, uh, Goldfish, oh, Goldfish, I think he is going to continue kind of scooting away. He has had to deal with quite a bit of trauma, you guys, because in order to protect Misha, in order to protect Nisha and keep him from suffering, 
the the guilt that it would bring if he uh let's see there's a there's a mole is there no that mole's gone because she's there okay but in order to protect Misha and make sure that he didn't have to suffer the guilt that he has to suffer he was the one who took down Nuku he took down Nuku the Wanderer because uh, of an order from Sundancer and honestly it was a reasonable order because I mean we were struggling for food and this guy was trying to uh, how strong are you by the way Oy, you're only three okay so hmm you know what I might do I think I'm gonna go ahead have you guys try to knock that down there we go now we've got enough food and once we have these guys cracking acorns well plenty of food so we're actually I'm actually gonna send her over this way but uh, he had to had to kill Luku because some answer order that any wanderers that aren't useful and he doesn't know about little Mianana over here but I think Junkrat would fiercely defend her uh, any any Nijling that wasn't useful had to be kind of gotten rid of and mostly any wandering Nijling because they threat our food supply they're a threat and so goldfish our kind sweet gentle goldfish had to deal the final blow and that is weighing really heavy on him so I think he's actually gonna go out this way I think he's gonna start traveling this way just to escape from everybody just to get away from everybody and to be on his own because he has had a pretty rough time of it. Ooh, that's interesting. I like that little cove area there. It's not really a cove, but you know what I mean. But he's had a pretty rough time of it, and he's going to kind of start slinking away further and further because he just can't handle it. He, he just... It was a very sad incident, and I feel bad that he had to go through it. But uh, let's actually let Ramona and Ink try to breed again. I keep calling Ink Inky, by the way. And I don't know why. Maybe there is a character in something else that reminded me of him. But you gotta admit, though, he's really gorgeous. Oh, right. They had a daughter with water body. Water body. Ridiculous. But okay. Okay. We're gonna watch this area. And we're gonna hope that she has her second gem soon. But she's so cute. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Passing the turn. Yes, she did! Oh, she's got her second gem. Um, let's sniff. Okay, so she can't... There is a bunny over there. But, uh, she's gonna go ahead and crack up that acorn. And I'm gonna send him over here. Then I'll sit her over here. And I'm not sure what Junkrat wants to do. Um... Let him try to dig for that. I think he's going to start hunting for that bunny soon, but he's trying to stay close to uh, Mianana because he's worried about her and he wants to make sure that she's okay. And I think um, his kind, his kinder side is being shown right now. But uh, now that that's done, I think Rarimi and her older sister, let's see, Ramona, keep trying to breed. There we go. I don't know if they'll have another baby straight away, but oh, Vixen passed away! <gasps> Fennec! You must protect your child. Your child's being protected by your older brother right now, and he's gonna get rid of that nest. Uh, GGB, stay over here. So I'm not sure what to do. Um, I think I will have Fennec come over in a second. But we're also trying to clear away the territory. We actually really do need to get food though, so I'm gonna let Ink gather that up, and then I'm gonna sit him over this way so that Rarimi can gather up these berries for us. Ah, there's a bunny over here. Okay, is there any any bunny over this way? There's a bunny over th right there, but I wonder if it would be... I don't know, I think Fennec's going to stay near his family, so how far can you go? Alright, so there is a bunny over this way, so I'm going to start sending... Uh, Sundancer's about to pass away, though, so you know what? Never mind, man. I, I don't think I don't think there's... We'll have him try to dig up a root. And I think I'll do the same with you. So you got us some more food. Oh, and there's a bunny! Oh no! Okay, Fennec can't grab it. Um. Okay, so I don't know what to do. 
I'm gonna sit you over here. Let's see where that bunny went. The bunny disappeared. Darn. I was gonna try to send Fennec after it. Ah! Oh. Okay. Okay. There is that bunny right there, so you know what? Because, I mean, we do have enough food, but at the same time, he's not gonna make it there in time, so... I'll have him collect another piece of territory, and then I'm gonna have him sit over here, and then what I might do is kind of scoot our niche things a little further away from this bunny burrow. But since he's protecting uh, our little our little jujube here, um, I'm gonna scoot Misha. Ah, oh, that bunny. That bunny. Just tempting us. Tempting us! I think Ink, even though he doesn't have any attack, is gonna try to attack this bunny and get us some food because we are really struggling but luckily we are by this tree now so hopefully we can get some more food that way but uh, let's actually go ahead and pass the turn okay I heard a crab it and what was that was that like a bunny spawning or okay oh well, my, my, my. You know what? I think Misha is gonna go and attack this mole and collect the food so that his little sister has something to eat. And speaking of his little sister, he's gonna keep her close by. Buddy! Um, Goldfish is gonna kind of continue to seclude himself and scoot away. Ah, uh, that bunny is gone. That other bunny's gone. Okay. So, hmm, I don't know if Ramona and Ink want to have their kids yet because they're really worried. There's a bunny right there! Bunny! And you know what? Come on, Junkrat. You can get this bunny. You can't get that bunny. Darn it! Really? Oh, well, that sucks. Okay, I was really, really hoping that he could, but it turns out he can't. So why don't we just try to dig for some roots? And we're gonna send Ramona back this way. She's not gonna have any babies yet, but I think Date is gonna go sit by her, um, technically her aunt, and they're gonna hang out together. Ink is gonna come back this way, and I think he'll go sit by his mate and make sure she's okay. Let's, uh, let's have him sit over here so he can gather more berries for us. And now we have our little acorn collecting trio. So... Well, duo. I said trio. Whoopsie. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and let him collect that acorn. And this one. She can collect this and shake the tree again. Oh, more acorns. But this will help us a lot with getting food. So, goldfish. Over here alone, are we? You poor, poor soul. I really do adore him. And I wish he hadn't had to do that. But, I mean... I understand why it had to happen, you know? And I think, wait, did Sundancer pass away? Wait, 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 who's gonna be a leader now? Okay, okay, so I wonder if perhaps, you know what, maybe, maybe Misha would take over. I think Misha might take over, so let's go ahead and let's give him the red gems of leadership because he and Jujubee are both royalty so Misha is going to take the role of leader, as leader, and he's going to start trying to spread the group out as much as he can, um, organizing bunny hunts, he probably wants to set a couple lookouts up over this way, and yeah, we really want to try to work on all of that, but let's see. Um, okay, I think Cassian and Mianana are are getting along pretty well. I think um, her spunk is definitely inspiring and Cassian finds her pretty interesting. Um, of course they can't have babies because they have the same immunity. But, uh, hmm. That reminds me, I don't know which of our little nichelings over here actually have the mystic genetics. I'm kind of curious to see which of them actually has those abilities. But uh, we'll have to look soon. I mean, hmm. Maybe Misha does. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if Misha does. He kind of reminds me of Sundancer in a way, just with a little more of Vixen's logic. Let's go ahead, look at you, Junkrat. Oh no! Ah, uh, wish you... Uh, we need more of the medium tail. We definitely need more of the medium tail, but... 
I'm actually going to zoom out. Let's go ahead, sniff. Is there another? There's another normal berry bush up that way. There's a bunny. There's a mole. Well, there's a mole in there. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and pass the turn. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I hear... I hear something dangerous. But, uh, let's go ahead and send Misha over here. You can't swoop anybody up, bird. You're freaking me out. You can't swoop anybody up. You can't, because we don't have any babies. Go away. Stop hovering over us. Okay, he's really scaring Ramona. I think Ramona would be very nervous about having a baby right now. Hmm. I'm not sure, though. I think I'll send her over here so she can just repair this and try to dig for the root. Oh, which she got. And her mate um, can try to dig for the root next to her. And these two are by each other, but I wonder if because of the bird that... Uh, I think Ramona might try to call them back. I think she might try to call them back and keep them closer to her. Because this bird is freaking her out. But let's go ahead and get ourselves some food. I'm actually going to scoot Cassian over this way so he can get us some more acorns. And that way we get more food. And thank goodness for you, Acorn Tree, because you were so helpful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and scoot her over here. And she got us a bunny! Oh, how awesome! Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and send Junkrat over this way. I think he'd be a little bit jealous that she got the bunny. I think he'd be a little bit jealous. But we do have a baby to look forward to. Let's hope that they're healthy and honestly that they have armored body because that'd be amazing. But Junkrat, he's gonna stay around Mianana and, um, and Cassian and make sure that they're okay. Especially Mianana. He's got a he, he felt very connected to her when he first saw her, and I think her spunk is very impressive to him. So he wants to he wants to take care of her, make sure she's got enough food and that she's okay. Now let's go ahead and pass the turn. And oh, you're so cute! Oh, the mole popped up again. I think. Oh, see me. Okay, so you've got perfect eyesight. Perfect. You're, you are perfectly healthy, and you have I and C. Oh, no F immunity. Thank goodness. You have armored body recessive. Now, I wonder who you could breed with. Herm. I'm just going to look at you, Junkrat. Oh, no, Junkrat, you're freezing. Junkrat. Oh, you actually have I immunity, too. Uh, We're going to go ahead and warm you up. Whoa, bird. Go away. Oh, no, a goldfish died. I hope he found peace. I hope you found peace, because I feel so, I feel so bad for him. But uh, okay, let's do a sniff and a listen. Okay, so Junkrat is about to pass away too. We do have to be careful for him because uh, he's got a lot he's dealing with. Let's see. I might hesitate to make him pick anything because I really wish that I could let him hunt. But let's see. Okay. I wish he could have a child, too. That would be really, really nice. Can he actually breed with somebody? B and H, Rarimi. Well, 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 Junkrat. I think um, we're going to do a very quick, quick pair up with you. And actually, since your baby should be protected. Darn. Um, I was really hoping Ramona could do that. Oh, wow. You can move really fast. But uh, we're going to send Rarimi down here. So she can breed with Junkrat, and they can have uh, some kiddos together. He'll breed with her, and that way they can have some kids. Um, I think Misha is going to look at their genetics, because he did indeed inherit his father, uh, his mother's ability, not his father's. So he's got short-sighted eye, recessive, and otherwise, oh, okay, lowish fertility. But the fertility is not bad enough, I think... Misha is going to prioritize the medium tail because it's just very, very useful to have. And I think you are already set up. Yeah, you are. So she can have her baby. And you know what? I think she might go ahead and just sit down in a nest. And Ramona's just kind of watching very, very nervously because that bird is flying overhead. And she just wants to make sure her, her baby sister's okay. But uh, she's kind of watching after. And we're going to keep you here. We're going to keep you here, Jujubee. 
And let's see, Misha. I don't know what you want to do, man. Um, I think we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna let Date collect this. Ramon is calling her to her, and then Ink is gonna go ahead, grab up all these berries. We're doing much better food-wise, and I'm really excited to see her baby. And we also have Mianana, and I think she'll kind of be like an aunt to this little baby, and we're gonna let you shake down the, uh, ooh, you can crack the, uh, the acorns too, nice. And there we go, look at all that food! I wonder if there's a bunny nearby, because I swear I just heard a bun bun. I swear I heard something that might have hit a bun bun too. Okay, there are bunnies, so I'm gonna go ahead and scoot you over this way. Oh, nice! So you can come and collect the food! Oh, that's great, Misha! So we're starting to do some more hunting, and I definitely think that our that our uh, nichelings are enjoying it. I think Jujube is a hunter. I think she'd be a hunter, and Mianana would be if she weren't blind. And she might still try to snag some bunnies here and there, but alright you guys, we're gonna see what this baby is. And then we're gonna go ahead, and I think that'll be it for this episode. So let's go ahead and see what uh, Rimi's child is. Um, I think I think they both just wanted a child, so so they decided to be together. But let's pass the turn. Healthy? Whoa! You are a bright, bright red little baby. Okay. And you've got the claw. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're adorable. She does have hemophilia recessive, but otherwise she's very healthy. So I think. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure what you're like, little one, but I can already tell by your fur color that you've definitely got uh, some of your dad's fire. So, let's see. Little Mikori. I don't think I've ever seen that name before, but she does have H&F immunity, so finding her a mate is going to be kind of difficult. And it's raining too, you guys! Oh, how awesome! Um, let's let Misha come back. I think we're going to let Misha... Yeah, he's going to come and guard this little baby for Ramona. He's going to guard the little baby for Ramona. We're going to grab up the berries. Ink is going to come back down, grab up more berries. And Ramona's going to come down and breed with him really fast. And then grab up more berries because uh, we really want to build up that food. And I think Date is kind of being told, no, stay by your little sister. Actually, let's sit see me over here, but Date wants to help out with the tribe, so she's going to come down and gather up more berries and kind of, a little bit defiantly, ignore her mother. But uh, I just wanted to grab some food before we ended the episode, you guys, but I do think that's going to be it. And I'm very excited to see what this little Mikori uh, is like, what this little lady's like, and I think that their romance was a bit random, a bit spur of the moment, because, um... I don't know, I think they both just really wanted a kid, and he was... I think he's like the only male who can breed with her, but I'm gonna go ahead and really quickly show you guys the genetics of our family so far. So we have... Um, no, 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 I see you, Junkrat. We're going this way, though. We have Mianana, and she has the H and F immunity, she has low fertility, hemophilia recessive, and blind eyes, and... Uh, Let's see, we have Jujube, who has F and D immunity, hemophilia recessive, but perfect eyesight and fertility. Rarimi has B and H immunity, she has um, lowish fertility, hemophilia recessive, otherwise perfect eyesight, and she also has toxic body recessive, so don't forget that one. Her brother Cassian has B and H immunity, with it, which is a little better than um, having F immunity. He's got lower fertility, but otherwise he's perfect health. He does have webbed hind legs recessive, but he also has toxic body recessive. We have Misha, who is H and D immunity. He has hemophilia, low fertility. He's got web paw, but we can work around that. But he also has poison fang recessive, which could be very useful. And uh, we also have Ink, who is C and F, but he's already got a mate with Ramona. But uh, he's also got low fertility, short sighted eye recessive. Ramona has I and E immunity. She has perfect everything. She is perfectly healthy. Junkrat has lowish fertility and short sighted eye recessive. He also has I and F immunity. And Mikore, uh, or Mikori, has H and F immunity. She has lowish fertility, hemophilia recessive, but otherwise perfect genetics. 
Um, and she doesn't have, um, she has beak recessive. And Simi has INC immunity, she has perfect everything, she's perfect, perfectly healthy. And then Date has E and F immunity, she's got lowish fertility and short sighted eye recessive, but she does have armored body recessive as well, as well as gill recessive. But uh, she's very cute, very cute. So that's all of our Nichlings right now, if you guys have any ideas who we can uh, pair who with who, then go ahead and comment them down below. But I do think that's going to be it for this episode, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you all for watching. But I gotta be popping on out of here. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!